Dearly beloved, <laughs> we are gathered here today to celebrate someone very special. <laughs> and don't let her day job deceive you. <laughs> the lady we're about to meet has a 300 horsepower dream. Anybody have any idea what it could be? Well, well, here's the surprising truth as we go vrooming with the vicar. I'm driving through the beautiful Herefordshire countryside to surprise local vicar Susan Strutt. Now, she dedicates her life to other people, but today, it's all about her. 65-year-old Sue was one of the first women to be ordained in the UK. Now in charge of eight parishes, Sue's constantly thinking about the needs of her parishioners and her community. She is always available for anyone who needs her help. Daughter Jane explains why she nominated her. She's meant to have one day off a week, but even that sometimes doesn't happen because her phone constantly rings and sometimes there's somebody that needs her attention straight away. And I just wanted to nominate her to give her a treat for herself because she'd give so much to everybody else. I thought it'd be nice to give something back to her. So what kind of calm, spiritual dream does the vicar have? She's always wanted to rally drive and I know she certainly drives her car, as though it's a, a rally car. Oh, rally driving, amazing. But husband David knows she deserves it. She's worked hard all her life. She's asked for nothing. She's asked for nothing for herself. She's my soulmate. I'm her soulmate. We've got no secrets, except this one. We're at Hampton Court Castle in Herefordshire. Susan thinks she's coming to this calm and peaceful and majestic stately home for an afternoon visit with her husband and her daughter. What she hasn't counted on is she'll be joined by Randy Bodine, a very loud and obnoxious and accident-prone American tourist. <laughs> Randy Bodine. Oh, my, come on. That's right, it's Randy Bodine. Don't mess with Texas. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with a true Texas Longhorn. Woohoo! Ride him, cowboy. They speak French here in the UK, toilette. We won't miss a thing as our secret cameras are everywhere. And the castle guide Sharon is in on the setup. It's here that I usually like to introduce you to an American millionaire whom I like to refer to oh, as our benefactor, for he bought the house in 1994. <laughs> Sounds like my daddy. <laughs> um, Randy's daddy must be a rich man. I wonder if he could afford this vase. Um, if you just please um, mind the vase as you come by. Um, for it's a, an acquisition that we've only just recently got. This is a very beautiful room. Yeah. Would they have had singing and things and minstrels in here? You would have had a jester at oh. some point or other. Some of um, my friends back home say I'm a bit of a jester because every time I'm <laughs> in a space like this, there's an old song, I take the stars at night are big and bright, uh, 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 deep in the heart of Texas. It's very loud, <laughs> very loud, it's very loud. There's always one on the tour. Yes. I think I can isolate him. <laughs> Call to reception? I wonder why. I'll be as quick as I possibly can. All right? Back to this vase. Did somebody say it was valuable? Here comes Randy. The Texan is like a bull in a china shop. Oops, Randy's on the flight back to Houston. Poor Susan Shock. Uh, wasn't that vase priceless? Everybody, our friend has just brought you a vase. Don't worry, Sue. Tonight's the night is about to make a full confession. I'm very sorry, because it's not really me, Susan. It's all about you. Because I'm actually John Barrowman from BBC One's Tonight's the Night. And I am here to make your dream come true. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> The reason I'm here today is because everybody wants something special for you. I know you have a dream, and you want to rally race. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, yeah. I've arranged for you to race with rally driver Chris Meek. You're going to be wow. the vicar of speed. <laughs> oh, dear. I can't believe this. Believe it. <laughs> Come on, Sue. You're a vicar. Believe. Next stop, Silverstone and World Rally Championship driver, Chris Meek. Nice jumpsuit. Good looking, Vicar. Uh, mind your glasses, Sue. <laughs> so 
So you're you ready for your first rally experience here at oh, Silverstone? I am. I'm looking forward to this. Good. Chris is going to show Sue how it's done. Hold on tight! <laughs> Don't you hate Sunday drivers? I've never had a drive like that in my life. It's wonderful, actually. I won't go as far as that, I don't think. <laughs> Sue, this is your big dream. Put your foot down, girl. Your shift is up here. Slightly nervous. <laughs> She's good, she's really good. Chris might just have a new teammate next year. It was brilliant, scary. <laughs> I just don't know what I feel <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Thanks so much. If you have a dream, keep going, keep following it. You just never know. I'd almost given up on this one, but it came true, and you may be surprised one day. Born to be wild. Now, Susan, you said there that you were too old to do it. How does it feel now once you have done it? Well, I think I've got a new career ready for when I retire, really. <laughs> <laughs> I think dreams, you know... Keep going, that's what I say. You're never too old. So you're going you're to drive like that down to the local shops? I have noticed that I take the corners a bit faster <laughs> <laughs> since I did that, yeah. Jade, how important was it for, you know, you to see your mum fulfil one of her dreams? Very important. Mum does so much for other people and for us as a family as well, that she always puts everybody first, but never herself. And it was just important to... Um, oh. Sorry. That's all right. It's just it's... important for her to fulfill a dream that was just for her. And yeah. Well, it so. certainly was just for her. And we're yeah, glad that you got in touch with us. But everybody out there, watch those corners because she's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Susan Struts! Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm supposed to be on the other side. Uh, guys, if you'll excuse me, sorry. Sorry to break up the family.